Hey guys, CV Tractor Collectors here. Um, figured I'd show you, I don't know if I ever have, I, I want to say I have, but I don't really know for sure. Um, anyways, today we're going to be riding my new uh, Farm All Cub. Turned out pretty good, didn't it? It's actually the best restoration to date. Um, why haven't you guys seen a thing on this? Um, my answer? Because this tractor wasn't mine until about July and um, did the restoration. Actually, it's three years old. And uh, I came out. The guy, I said, hey, let's get this fired up. Let's go to a tractor show with it. Because he's an older guy. And he said, well, I'm getting up there and I really can't get on and off of it very well. And I'm just kind of getting out of the hobby. And... So I said, well, what you going to do with the tractor then? And he's like, well, I'll cut you a deal. And I asked, uh, I said, what, um, what's the deal? And he said, I'll give it to you. So I uh, said, of course, yes. Um, I did all the factory. I did period correct wiring. Everything on it is 100% perfect. Um, only things that I did do um, the total build cost for this tractor was about eight thousand dollars not including purchase price of the tractor um, things that are not original to the year 1948 which here's the here's the year there there's the serial number for you guys new new serial number um, things that are not cracked first off this padded seat that's molded into the uh, into the actual seat seat uh, assembly itself um, second of all the badge up front here would have originally been just a uh, a decal it would have said International Harvester but I liked that and he did too so we said that anyways um, and then the final thing that may or may not be um, period correct is that muffler but it was the one I liked and the guy liked it too so we did it for him um, I'll get on it and start it up actually I just ran it out of gas and I was going to start this video about 20 minutes ago, but I had to go to the gas station. So bear with me if it starts hard, it usually does not. <laughs> Pull the ignition switch. So amp gauge does work and it does charge. And wow, we're running out of gas. That was uh, pretty good. <laughs> usually it doesn't even take that. Usually you don't even have to kick it over all the way. It just, it just starts right up, boom. So now that we'll let it run for a minute, um, the hydraulics do work on it. said give me something that's not on every tractor so um, with the exception of the paint job I did all the 100% of the work to this tractor um, uh, we had a local uh, Ford dealership paint the tractor itself but it does have rear wheel weights and fronts so, um, just a really fun little tractor you know it's not very powerful but it doesn't need to be because this is my tractor that I uh, you know, it's my parade tractor. I, if I have to, only, if I can only take one through parade, this is the one I take because it's the prettiest. It just, it's, it functions the best out of all of them. We'll rev it up here. I rebuilt the engine in it too. Really pretty little tractor. I thought about entering it in, in, in the uh, Dello. TRC, the tractor restoration competition, but I had finished it so early and was so young, I don't think I could really do it. Um, and I, of course, I didn't paint it, so I didn't do it all myself. But this is a really pretty tractor. Um, yeah, I redid everything on this. It's got all new engine components, all new uh, rebuilt engine, everything, all new cooling system, all new steering system, all new tires, uh, all new tractors. 
transmission parts, all new transmission seals. All new, t it's got brand new fenders put on it. I didn't mess with the old ones, even though the old ones were next to perfect. Got a new battery box. The old one was starting to get a little punky. Uh, hood and everything, the body shop bumped out, and I think it turned out pretty dang good. It's it's almost flawless, so you can't tell one for one thing. Um, and new intake manifold, new old stock, new old stock carburetor I found online. Ended up paying about $300 guy said he wanted a real good fuel system that wouldn't let him down you can start this thing up when it's 40 degrees out with 30 weight oil in it and uh, it just starts right up about six cranks and it starts right up with the starter so yeah real pretty real pretty little tractor that's for sure you wouldn't around the farm you really wouldn't use this for much other than towing a wagon or two maybe doing cultivating in your garden yeah, compared to the big H, it sits a lot lower. It doesn't go nearly as fast, but hey, it's not about speed on the tractor, so. I think you guys probably remember this trail with the uh, Farmall tractor, the big one. I keep saying my Farmall, but I, now that I have two Farmalls, I have to specify what one when I'm talking at school and stuff with my friends, and it just makes makes them angry and they always it makes me angry what your big one or your little one so um yeah but we'll head out we'll, we'll head out into the field that's one thing that i think the, the flaw if there was one little dislike i had and i couldn't really i can't really dislike it it's just you know that was at the time new technology but I wish they added another gear because I'm in second gear right now and there's only one more gear and it does not go fast at all. Like if you want to move right along down the road, it does not go fast at all whatsoever. It's very slow tractor. So um, yeah, it gets around okay, but nothing special. So I'm gonna take it out and I mowed the field, mowed part of it anyway. Cute little thing, that's for sure. I'll uh, I'll stop up here and I can get a real good. I'm gonna get a few pictures of it. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's the tractor. Really pretty thing, that's for sure. Hope it turns out in the video as good as it does, as it did uh, in pictures. Anyways, have a good day, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.